Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore. I'll be joined by Teddy Atlas in moments. We welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of West Ham, Lennox Lewis. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Nope, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This 10-rounder. Hey, this is a big spot for him, Teddy. Lewis's future could be determined tonight. He's a clear-cut underdog. Johnson's clamped down by a left hand. The Cobra's being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Solid. Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Well, when things have gone south for Lennox Lewis, it's been because his opponent possesses one-punch power. Well, Lewis is going to have to show that when he's been in the gym after those times that have gone south, that he's gone north. North to a place where he's come up with an answer, where his defense is better. Hook lands from Lennox Lewis. Johnson's able to land a good, solid left hand. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Lennox Lewis. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Lewis. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body and he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front of him. Off the target by Johnson. Lewis is gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time to completely recover. Listen, be responsible defensively. Don't get reckless, but stay on him. Do not let him recover. I've been trying to figure him out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's tough because he's an outside fighter. I'm not necessarily an inside fighter, but I am a counter puncher, so I gotta like adjust what I'm doing. He got me, I'm not gonna lie, he got me, man. It's all right. Johnson's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. One. Good work by Lennox Lewis. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right to the body. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Halfway through this round. Come on, kid. Protecting his head well with his guard. Johnson's basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches 
based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind and get to that no man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. Good double jab by Johnson. 10 seconds to go in this round. Three minutes gone by in this round. Yeah, buddy. Not gonna knock me out this time. I see the uh, stamina is at 96, mine is at 99. Yeah, man, Lennox Lewis, I can't underestimate him. He's a pretty smart fighter. Uh, he's definitely staying on the outside. I'm trying to figure out how I can get on the inside without getting fucked up. Or giving him some outside fire momentum. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. Just give me another round. I got you. And round number three is underway. Lewis is scoring with that right hand. Solid hook. That's a good sharp hook by Johnson. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! The Cobra's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. The Cobra's out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go the door. Johnson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round... He scores with the jab. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the me. roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. The Cobra's so deep. Wow! We're going to see what Lennox Lewis is made of now. He just ate a power punch that floored him. <laughs> Yeah, get him the fuck out of here. Fuck do you mean, man? Caught his ass in the corner. Hit him with some uppercuts. Mm, mm, mm. Body. Ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? He is taller than me. He do have a longer reach than me, so. I told you, man, once I figure out a way to get on the inside and actually get into him, it's over. Now, I don't know what's going to happen after this. We still got more rounds to go. But I weakened him. There's a chink in the armor now. Come on, Lennox. Well, if things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four. Johnson's in really what appears to be a dead even fight on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, it is. And to separate it, if they're going to separate themselves as the night goes on, it's going to come down to the inside. Whoever decides not to make those little silent agreements, you know, you hold me, I won't punch. I hold you, you won't punch. Whoever decides to bring their hands back and do some work on the inner quarters. Lennox Lewis's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, 
for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little, a little more time than he gives somebody else. You see, he's committed to that body work. Hits him in the mug with the right. Johnson Lewis is damaged by a left hand. Good exchange, he fires back. now I'm getting in my groove uh, he's gonna have to figure out a way to stop me at this point because I'm gonna keep tagging his ass now that he's got knocked down you know the second round I got back into my shit but the third round that's when I really got into my shit so the fourth round yeah you know what I'm saying he's, he's a little bit more timid a little bit more you know uh, defensive this time trying not to get knocked out I get it I get it but now the fight has begun really Lewis's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here this is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged Nice job doubling up the jab by the Cobra. Two jabs by Johnson, able to cover up that gut. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Lennox Lewis has given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in this fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. Yeah, the real fight's begun, man. It's the half, and it's time to get cracking. This is really about to be a real fight. Let's go. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Scores well to the head with the right hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Go, 
Good block by Johnson. Keep doing what you're doing. Lennox Lewis with a big uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. Come on, kid, focus. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. like a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon as that round comes to an end it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight Teddy my thoughts are pretty clear-cut this is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own this is an all-out war yeah this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget you know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. I'm looking for my opportunity. I'm patient enough to let it just come to me. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Side to side. He missed with that headshot. Lennox able to block that punch. Focus. Able to lock in that target and bring it home well. One or two more of those, it'll be the end of the night. work from both men they each got a shot in a little give and take and here comes the left hand big shot up top he really got to him there and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there good solid overhand left Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lewis. Well, he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Hey, bro, this man must have a steel fucking chin. Because I've been trying to catch him this whole round. Like, shot after shot. I can see his stamina going down. So he's taking the shots. But he's not getting stunned. Nothing. I mean, yeah, he's hugging me. There's no cuts, bruises. And I am using my all on some of these shots. Like, with a stamina 91, it's got to be hitting him. Something's got to give, bruh. Eddie's scorecard shows this an even fight. Lewis is so capable of doing so much. Tonight, he has scored a knockdown, but he's also been down himself. Yeah, you know, that knockdown 
hurt him. His knockdown, not the one where he got dropped. How so is that? Well, because he expected to do it again, and he started throwing one shot at a time. He stopped doing the things that set it up in the first place. He forgot. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. He digs into the body again. Lewis is nailed by a huge hook. Johnson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. job it was sudden it was fast it was direct by the cobra <laughs> lewis is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo he scored well upstairs with the right hand not an accurate hook at all Cobra's able to land a nice, clean left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Luke. And round eight comes to an end. Johnson's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight and keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Good work doubling up that jab by Lewis. Side to side, move your head. Missed the body shot. Johnson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. The Cobra's showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. He returns fire with fire. Well targeted double jab by the Cobra. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good flush shot by Johnson. Lennox Lewis is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Johnson starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good uppercut by Lewis. I'm trying to catch him, and it's hard, man. The one thing I do see is he got a cut on his face. Yes. Pitch it to 75. I only got one more round, so it's not like I can, like, make him throw the white flag in or something. But his stamina is a 76. 
That's the lowest it's ever been. I'm at an 88 because I've been kind of conserving for the past couple rounds. I mean, it could be a decision, but since he has a cut, I could just push the push the you know the envelope. Let's see. Final round has arrived. Who wants it more? Little head knocking with that right hand. Lewis is looking like the one thing you don't want your fighter to be, Teddy, and that is careless. Yeah, well, first of all, when you throw a jab, you throw it like you're testing hot water. Bang! You get it back just as fast as you throw it out. He's throwing it slow right now, and that's where the carelessness comes in. Something's going to come over that slow jab. Here. And so are we. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Lennox Lewis damaged again here in this fight and trying to beat the count. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but. If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Lewis's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving, he's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. Not able to land the headshot. Good smooth work by Lennox Lewis. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Lewis is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Oh! And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. Two, three, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the first Johnson. This was an expected outcome tonight. The Cobra's supposed to do stuff like this when he's fighting against an overmatched opponent. Yeah, it's not just that he did it, though, Joe. What I was impressed with is how he did it. Anybody could knock out this guy. You just said it very well. But to do it the way he did so efficiently. Get him the fuck out of here. Go follow my Twitch. I got plenty on there, especially basketball. And go follow my YouTube, Nola Gaming. I'll see y'all next time.